Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those who are new in my channel, I'm Kim from the Philippines and today we're on my 60th country here in Jordan, Amman. It's very special for me because this is my birthday treat for myself. I booked a tour guide and he's Mohammed. You'll see him later and I'll be with three Filipinas. The first place that we're going to visit today is Wangi Mujib. I specially requested this because I saw from Instagram that it's a very beautiful place. That's why I wanted to go there. From Queen Alia International Airport here in Amman to Wadi Mujib, it will be 1 hour and 30 minutes drive. So that's Mohammed. That's the guy that I'm talking about. <laughs> Later that day. Welcome to Wadi Mujib. This place was once known as the Arnon Valley, which is believed to be the destination where Moses led the Israelites across. We need a sea trail. This will be a two to four hour epic hike that will take you through the river in the middle of a canyon to a beautiful waterfall. The entrance fee will be 30 US dollar per person and 7 US dollar waterproof shoe rental. You may also want to bring your own cool shoes if you don't want to pay and dry bag waterproof pouches for your gadgets. GoPro, of course, for your photos and videos. Water, and I recommend you to wear gym clothes and swimsuits because of the intense water current. Life jacket will be provided once you enter the visitor center for free. So let's start the climbing, swimming, and adventure! The end of our Wadi Mujib adventure. How was it, Kim? He's a survivor. He's a survivor. Janina, how's your experience? So much fun. So much Did fun. You expect to be this good? Yeah, no. It's a nice experience, actually. I never thought that I'm going to experience this today. If you have fear of heights or if you can't swim, like think things over before doing this adventure. And. Look at that view! So pretty! So anyway guys, let's go to Petra. Let's have our dinner first. Guys, now we're going to have dinner. This is two hours from Wadi Mujib, and from this restaurant, we're going to Petra, which will take us another 20 minutes. Wait, the food! Let's follow the food. Later that same evening. So, guys, we're at the hotel. It's a three star hotel, and it's a three minute drive going to. Petra and let me show you first the room that I have right now. So I have there the television. We have coffee, cups, teaspoon, a closet, king size bed for myself and a lazy boy. Wow. So the room looks nice. This is also our washroom. There's no bidet sadly but it's fine. There's like a little faucet over here. I just get to know from Mohammed that Wadi means valley and Jordan the history is very nice. The currency here is actually very high so you really need to have a budget going here. I need to cut this story short because I need to wake up at 5.45 in the morning. See you tomorrow guys. Bye! Day 2. Good morning! So this is the view from our hotel Tetra. We're going to Petra. 
Traina, well, after breakfast, we're going to check out. It's weird because during nighttime and early morning, it's 15 degrees. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. But in the morning, they're saying that the weather here, the sun is super strong. That's why you need a scarf going to Petra. I'm just so excited for today. Let's go, guys. I'll show breakfast and the view. Morning, Hazel! Janina! Cam! Mahmed! <laughs> one hour later. Petra is one of the oldest cities in the world. That's why it's the most visited tourist spot in Jordan. Entrance fee will cost you 50 Jordanian dinar per person for one day. This can be purchased on arrival at the visitor center. Prices differ for foreigners and local and depending of the length of the stay and number of visits to be made in Petra. The city is also known as the Lost City because it was remained unknown until 1812 to the Western world. It is also known as the Rose City because of the color of the stones. It is home to roughly 800 tombs. To get to the treasury, you need to make your way through the sick, a long narrow chamber lined with towering cliffs. The winding path is 1.2 km long and will take you around 20 minutes longer if you stop to enjoy and take photos. The treasury is the most famous rock structure of Petra which is included in one of the new seven wonders of the world. It is originally built as a mausoleum and a crypt and estimated to be over 2,300 years old. The way up to you. We are here on top of Petra, so that's the view. Actually, I recommend you going here during sunset because the sun is against us. <laughs> it's not really very good with a camera phone or any cameras. Don't be fooled because as you can see from there, actually, Mohammed already informed us that you just need to go on that side. And it's only a 10 minute hike, not like this one. It's very hard to get here. You saw it a while ago. Hello, Hello. So, welcome in Petra. <laughs> Janina! It's already 10 15 and there's a lot of people. And there's also souvenir shops here and restaurants, coffee shops, and toilets. Toilets are for free. And if you're going up there where we went, you need to pay one Jordanian dinar per person. And for the tour guide, it's 20 dinar. Our tour operator Mohammed told us not to buy anything from here because we can buy it from Amman. So we're going to buy it there because it's a lot cheaper. And it is impossible to bring any form of vehicle into Petra. But donkeys, horses, and camels are very much available within the city. Locals are also very helpful with taking photos and touring you around.
from the treasury to the monastery, it will be a tough climb of 900 plus steps and I assure you it will be all worth it. Similar design to the treasury, the monastery is much larger and much less decorated. It was used for the meetings of religious associations. Congrats Kim, congrats Hazel, and congrats Janina. Congrats myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Congrats. So Janina, how's your Petra experience? 10 10. Wow. <laughs> how's your hike? Amazing. Really? Wow. <laughs> How about you, Hazel? 100. <laughs> uh, it's chocolate, it's milk. You want milk or chocolate? With chocolate. How about you? Uh, Hi, Mama Salama. Uh, Salama. Hi. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. How are you? Petra to Wadiram is an hour and a half drive. Wadiram, also known as the Valley of the Moon, is a protective desert wilderness in southern Jordan. It is one of the world's most beautiful few deserts. The Martian, Transformers, The Last Day on Mars, and other movies were filmed here. Here in Sun City Camp, they also prepare Zarb for us. So Zarb is one of the beautiful and delicious treasures of Bedouin culture. For centuries, Bedouins in the whole Arabian Peninsula cook their food underground in earth ovens. This way of cooking does not require much equipment. This was important as Bedouin traveled a lot as they roamed the desert in search of water and pastures. So over time, a few things change. For example, nowadays, they use metal ovens and they wrap the meat, they use foil instead of palm leaves and it will take you between 4 and 5 hours to make your zarb. Using chicken will save you an extra hour. Day three. Let's have breakfast. Welcome to Aman Citadel. From Wadiram going here, it took us four hours. And we have Hazel here and the old town of Aman of Jordan. Aman Citadel should be the top of every Aman itinerary. It is a significant archaeological site which is very easy to reach. The Temple of Hercules is the most famous site within the Aman Citadel. It was built by the Romans and today only a few parts of the structure remain. Inside the Aman Citadel, there's also a Jordan Archaeological Museum that's just right behind the Temple of Hercules. So let's go visit it. 
The museum presents artifacts from archaeological sites in Jordan dating from the prehistoric times to the 15th century. The collections are arranged in chronological order and include items of everyday life such as flint, glass, metal, and pottery objects as well as more artistic items such as jewelry and statues and the museum also includes a coin collection. And we eat this dish by our heart. Okay. Okay. Like this, look. And we do like this. That's So we are now at the Compass Hotel. We just took our dinner, very early dinner. It's four in the afternoon, and now we have a take home kunapa because we're so tired to eat it outside, and we're just going to sleep. So we cut our tour very short because we're really very tired from these past two days. I'll give you a tour of my room in a while. This one, so it looks nice. Also have kettle, coffee, tea, cups. We also have the mini fridge here, safety deposit box, and closet, and the washroom. So there's BD. Yay! BD is very important for the blower. Day four. Dead Sea. So if you don't know, Dead Sea is so popular because no living creature can live here. <laughs> Actually, it's not a sea. It's a lake and scientists, they predict that in 2050 that there will be no sea anymore. It will be drained because Jordan and Israel is using the water of the Dead Sea. And now we're going to put mud. They're already starting and of course you can float here. Let's go! <laughs> so this clay they're saying is full of minerals. Kim, do you feel <laughs> do you feel now like a baby? Yeah. How about you, Janina? I feel like a baby. But it's good, no? After mm -hmm. rinsing it, because you need to rinse it on the dead yes, sea, then your very, face in the shower. My skin is smooth. Very smooth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hazel, how's feel your dead sea experience? Wow. <laughs> Para kana, you feel like a fetus right now? Yes, <laughs> I am. Lunch time here at Holiday Inn. Say hello. Our papa. Our papa. <laughs> and of course, souvenir shopping. A little later, we got our PCR and we're tested negative, all of us. How about you, Isaac? Yes, it's my name. So we're all... Why are you doing this? All negative. Inshallah, send your family love. Yeah, I miss you. Bye! Bye! And we're ready to leave Jordan happy and tired. So guys, if you have any questions regarding Jordan, please don't hesitate to comment down below or you can message my Instagram or my Facebook page or you can also message Mohammed. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> no, thank you for letting me join you. <laughs> like, subscribe, and do not skip the ads. Yeah, very good. Bye guys. Don't forget to put the thumbs up. <laughs> oh, very good. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.